if y'all haven't figured it out yet, we kinda like sharks around this channel. And honestly, why wouldn't we? This fish is the perfect eating machine, not even needing to evolve terribly much over millions of years. The shark is a fascinating and terrifying creature, deserving of respect and a healthy amount of fear as well. That fear is well warranted, by the way, as while we can say all sharks are dangerous, in reality there's only a handful that we actually have to worry about. Today's list is all about those sharks, the man-eaters and the big teeth terrors that are more likely to want to see what we taste like. We're gonna go over some of the deadliest and dangerous sharks that are currently swimming around the globe. Number 5. The Shortfin Mako Shark The Shortfin Mako is considered to be one of the fastest sharks in the world, able to reach speeds of 43 miles per hour while swimming. The shortfin is generally found in tropical waters, feeding on a diet of bony fish, cephalopods, and sea turtles. Their feeding habits involve them coming from below its prey and ripping pieces off, and darting below to do so again. The shortfin is also a popular game fish, being fished commercially for sport and food, and often being an entertaining catch as they will jump out of the water and put up very heavy fights in order to try and escape. Despite their diet and status as a game fish, the mako is still considered to be a very dangerous shark for humans, with nine recorded attacks on humans in hundreds of years. One of these attacks did result in a fatality, and they're also known to attack boats unprovoked. Though the most common reason for mako attacks do seem to be due to harassment of the shark by divers and being caught on fishing line, and while certainly not as dangerous as our next picks, the shortfin mako is still a shark not to mess with if you're swimming around. Number 4. The Oceanic White Tip Perhaps not what you would expect as a dangerous shark, the Oceanic White Tip shark is reported as one of the most dangerous sharks in the world. While the white tip's diet is comprised of bony fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans, it has no qualms with attacking a human. The danger it poses to humans has actually been described by oceanographer Jacques Cousteau as being the most dangerous of all sharks, and that title is well earned. The white tip has been known to attack shipwreck survivors, preying on the poor humans as they float in the water and often darting in and out for several bites. While the white tip isn't as notorious a man-eater as the tiger shark, it has been blamed for several human fatalities over several years. There seem to be thousands of spoken attacks, but the recorded levels of attacks by a white tip are only about 15. The most notable incident of white tip violence was the sinking of the USS Indianapolis, a boat that was sunk by a torpedo strike from enemy forces and causing several of the sailors to take to the sea to survive. According to survivor accounts, dozens upon dozens of the crew were killed by this shark, having been bitten and bled to death. Another incident was the sinking of the RMS Nova Scotia, a ship that had a thousand occupants. Out of those thousand, though, only 192 survived, and many of those lost were blamed on the white tip. Number 3. The Great White Shark Okay, yeah, some of you might be surprised to see the largest meat-eating shark so early on this list, but it's with good reason. Please, just stay with me. Don't hate me. Yes, the great white shark is one of the most recognizable sharks in the world, with its large size and black and white coloration being familiar to many, both in the science world and regular world. The great white shark is easy to call the most dangerous shark in the world, but is it really? Well, according to numerous movies like Jaws, that answer would be a resounding yes. However, the reality of it is actually far tamer. Great white sharks have been responsible for the largest number of shark bite incidents without a doubt, having about 333 documented attacks on humans as of 2012. However, the biggest issue here is that these attacks are often test bites, bites that are to see if we're actually food rather than a premeditated attack. Great whites will swim closely to a target and then take a bite out of it to see if what it bit into is a viable food option. From that single bite, the shark can determine if it wants to strike again or if it wants to try another target. Great white attacks are more often than not a result of low visibility or a shark's senses being confused by an outer force. Humans are not a food item a great white would generally pursue unless it is truly hungry. The reason for this is that great whites actually find us far too bony with not enough fat to want to eat us, as well as our flesh just not tasting particularly good. On top of all that, human tissue seems to have a harder time digesting in a shark's stomach. It prefers fatter and blubbier prey, more often than not seals being its preferred food, and does as just an annoyance. Now, it still does stand, though, that great whites are responsible for the most documented attacks as well as human fatalities. These fatalities from a great white shark are mostly caused from blood loss from that one bite, from people who are not able to send the flow quick enough or professional help is not able to reach them in time. In conclusion, the great white is dangerous, yes, but its attacks are not intentionally deadly. Despite that, never think you're safe just because you taste bad. We may taste like garbage to a great white shark, but if you're hungry enough, I'm pretty sure even garbage would look appetizing. Now it's time for the day's best pick. 
Today's best pick may not be as famous as the Great White, but it is twice as deadly. This was the true inspiration for Jaws, and the shark in question is a true man-eater, and can attack you in both fresh and salt water. With that said though, number two, the bull shark. A large shark with an even larger temper. This is one shark you could be attacked from in two different areas. The first is obviously a saltwater rich ocean, where they're known to inhabit the warmer areas of ocean around the world and are found from Morocco to Angola and Brazil. However, bull sharks are also perfectly able to survive in fresh water as well, being found in lakes and rivers all around the United States, even up as far as the Mississippi River and the Potomac River. Around the world, bull sharks can also be found in Australia in both salt and fresh waters, with a golf course in Logan City having a lake home to several bull sharks, with even a tournament being held in that particular lake for golfers. The bull shark is very dangerous to humans for the freshwater reason alone, but what makes them truly dangerous is that unlike the great white, they don't mind the taste of human. While bull shark attacks aren't near as common as the great white, the bull shark does have a rather impressive 117 recorded attacks on humans, and the number is believed to be far higher than just what we have on record. Now, one thing I did mention is that this particular brute was responsible for the creation of Jaws, and I didn't lie. This incident was known as the Jersey Shore Shark Attacks of 1916, which was the basis for Peter Benchley's novel, which was an incident in which four to five people were killed and one injured by what was believed to be one or even several bull sharks. Called the Jersey Man-Eater, the shark first attacked on July 1st at a beach called Beach Haven, biting and ripping at a tourist who bled to death before he could get professional help. Similar incidents happened four more times, each ending in a fatality. Each attack seemed to be even more brutal, with one victim's legs being ripped off and turning the water red. The youngest victim, one Lester Stilwell, was attacked in a small creek as he played with other local boys and sadly did not survive. Each victim died aside from the very last one, who was able to get medical help and survive. These incidents prompted several organizations to put out cash rewards for the capture of the shark, and this in turn caused locals and shark hunters to take up arms and start hunting both the man-eater and other potentially dangerous sharks down. This resulted in hundreds of sharks being hunted down and killed. While this did result in some dangerous sharks like the bull and great white shark being hunted down, there were some bycatch that was harmless, mainly stuff like dogfishes. With so many sharks being brought in every single day, several claimed to have caught the man-eater, with catches ranging from blue sharks, sandbar sharks, and a great white. While a great white was caught with human remains in its stomach, it's still widely believed that the attacks were caused by a bull shark. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Tiger Shark The Tiger Shark, also nicknamed the Garbage Can of the Sea, is one of the largest man-eating sharks in the world. The tiger shark is found in tropical and subtropical waters, often guided by warmer currents as it swims looking for prey. The tiger shark has a reputation for eating nearly anything it can get its sharp teeth into, hence the nickname Garbage Can of the Sea. The tiger shark's diet can consist of anything between mollusks, squids, bony fish, sea turtles, birds, jellyfish, other sharks, dugongs, dolphins, eh, pretty much anything that won't try to kill them. Basically, the ocean is the tiger shark's buffet. Except for orcas, that will just straight up kill a tiger shark. But some of the contents of a tiger shark's stomach have also shed light on its massive appetite, with humans finding the remains of dogs, horses, rats, license plates, oil cans, baseballs, and even ripped up tires. And, of course, in some cases, human remains. Tiger sharks are known man-eaters, having a recorded attack record of 131 unprovoked attacks on human life. While the risk is generally lower, if a tiger shark does decide to attack, it will more often than not choose to attack again, not caring if we taste good or not. One notable example of a brutal tiger shark attack was the case of Bethany Hamilton, a professional surfer who was attacked by a 14-foot long tiger shark at only the age of 13. The shark bit her and severed her left arm just below the shoulder and caused her to lose over 60% of her blood and enter hypovolemic shock. The shark was caught soon after by some local fishermen and killed, and Bethany did go on to make a full recovery, still serving to this day despite the loss of an arm. She also has a movie, so check it out, it's actually pretty neat. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. What was your favorite shark on this list? Do you have a better option in mind that isn't the Megalodon? Let us know in the comments below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.